Hello, uh, welcome. Uh, today I am going to explain the program. So uh, first of all, let me explain uh, that this paper uh, I have just uh, only take uh, solar and uh, wind data from this paper and uh, formulation for size calculation. In simple way, you can see that uh, I can say that I have just take table one table 1 and equation 13 and equation 14 from this paper I have not take any other thing from this paper uh, just like uh, it you have mentioned that uh, uh, you want to know about this equation so uh, I have not uh, include uh, this formulation I have just take a table and uh, then I have just take these two formulas so in next step let me explain how I have done so another thing uh, I have not done anything similar just like it uh, another thing uh, this paper is implemented by GA but our code uh, the MATLAB program which I have shared with you uh, is done by particle swarm optimization so here is the uh, code that is with our DG so it will uh, there is include forward backward sweep load flow analysis and you can check it out here okay so let me click on the run button when I click on run then it uh, produce power losses real power losses and reactive losses okay so I have create an excel sheet for you here you can see that here are two losses so 206 is real losses and 137 is reactive losses uh, this is the excel sheet which I have created for you because you are requesting uh, work just like this paper so I have done uh, something similar to it okay so uh, next step let me open my and uh, when you will execute the without DG file then you have to open the Excel sheet it will generate program will generate this Excel sheet let me open outside MATLAB Here you can see all power losses and uh, up to this point this is the power loss at each bus okay and this is the real uh, losses at each bus you can see here is angle phase angle and here is voltage at each node uh, this will be automatically generated when you will execute the program so in next step I'm going to run my SW data so uh, in short I can say uh, I can say that this file as W data is taken from this reference paper only so uh, here is the table I have taken second column represents solar irradiance and third column represent wind speed so first of all let's move uh, here you can change the power factor you can set it one anyone and uh, here is a cost power factor okay uh, it's not used here so next we have set our efficiency and our area that is set here so I have put another reference here and this reference is for wind and for solar I think there are two files here these two files 1920 uh, these files will include the, the reference but uh, I don't know why these links are not work for me now but when I created before I think I have take data for uh, reference for my solar so here's the calculation and here is area and here we are going to sum up our solar irradiance okay and here is the formulation SLABS so let me check you through a reference paper so here A we have A A is solar area area of panel and beta is efficiency efficiency of panel and mu of T is actually solar 
so uh, there is a multiplication between three so I have multiplied my three functions three variables sorry three constants area efficiency and my uh, sum of solar irritants so in this way I have calculated my solar DG size in next step I'm going to find the wind calculation so there are a lot of ways to calculate its value wind generator size but here you can see just a moment let me show you here it mentioned that that we can also include cut in wind speed and cut out wind speed that are 3.5 and 25 and uh, cut in and rated wind speed so uh, we have rated 14 millisecond speed so let me show you in my metal program here all the variables are stored here is rated here is cut in here is cut out but we are not going to use all these vari uh, variables uh, let me show you second reference for my wind generator size here is we have rotor diameter and here we have swept area that is taken to be here and here again cut in cut out all the values are same so we are just taking this this value swept area okay so let me show you the formulation for its generation size calculation so here is the formulation 0 0.5 and then alpha alpha is bets constant alpha is bets constant and then we have a row that is air density we have area and then we have b of tk square, uh, square cube so here you can see that the formulation a is the cube of v and uh, v is our wind data sum summation i mean you have to sum up the third column and then you have to take a cube of it and then it will be equals to v okay so here if you want to put rated speed then it will be 14 cube and if you want to uh, set other par parameters wind parameters then it will be sum up this one for this one for wind paper parameter press 0 when you will press 0 paper parameters then it will take data from third column it will sum it up divided by 24 and then it will take its cube okay so this way this way is for paper parameters and then we have air density we have bets constant and then we have our area our V V is actually our wind data and then we are going to sum uh, uh, multiply it and then we have calculated it let me run this program so here is our solar DG size and that is actually multiply by 10 raised to power uh, this value is in per unit so you have to just multiply it with 10 raised to power 3 so it will be around 1191 so uh, let me click on the wind paper parameters press 0 and it will be 0 0.0317 and let me click on the run and for rated speed when I press 1 so it will be 0 0.4638 so in our MATLAB program we will use this value 0 0.4638 you have a question toward me that uh, here in this program I have used PSO so uh, in DG size calculation our DG size which we have set here solar and wind we have not used any optimization we have to just uh, simply uh, formulate its size and in uh, next part in this file in solar file we have used our PSO to find the best solution so why how PSO works here in this code in this code in this code we have a fixed size that is 1190 which I have shown you earlier that we have 1.19 and uh, this value is in per unit so when you will it multiply it with the thousand here you can see that when I divide it by again by thousand then it will becomes similar value 
uh, when it uh, divides by multiply by 100 then it will be around 0 0.019 so I'm using the value which I have get it from SW data so here this line is for the solar digit size and this line is for the location because in this case uh, our uh, solar digit size is fixed and our location is not fixed it will be around from 28 to 32 or it will be from 26 to backward it it may be any value so when I will run the program here we have a digi location here we have a digi power and here are the losses I update these values to Excel sheet which I will share with you so here are solar here are wind and here are solar plus wind so let me run solar plus wind so here are solar plus wind and this code we have put location here here you you have to change you here you have to make fixed value uh, but before I have not put uh, uh, why I put this one because we have 471 available and uh, I have just set a minimum penetration level and I just want to consider that which size is better so I think so just a moment so what does this line mean copy it up and click so it means that uh, we have available 1190 kilowatts solar power but uh, in MATLAB program we want to check that either if, uh, it's better if we use 590 690 790 890 990 1090 because we have available power so if we use this power will it be better or this one if we if we utilize all solar power it will be better or if we utilize 70 percent of it just so let me run the program so you can just make it fixed values you can just make it just like it 1190 and make this like just like 471 no problem uh, now we have our fixed value so here you can see that uh, I mean 1190 size it means we will utilize maximum available power of wind and solar and then we have locations of 29 and 17 uh, but uh, here there's a point here we have a location of 19 17 and here when we use hybrid then it will be 29 and 70 so no need to worry about it there are a lot of variations about and uh, another question uh, how our PSO is find which one is the best location so let me show you here so uh, this is the logic which we just a moment let him run the program okay just a moment it is much faster so uh, this is the program by, by which way so this is the logic uh, actually uh, for every iteration we are sum of our losses PL sum here you can see that PL and what is PL here okay so uh, PL is actually losses at each node uh, so now I just open it up this file solar wind IEEE this will be automatically generated when you will run the program
so uh, uh, this excel sheet is for solar and wind we have losses at each node real reactive and we have voltages also you can see that uh, our hybrid solar plus wind combination will provide us best solution 83 which is far better than all other cases and real losses are also better than other cases so what is PL? PL is actually the losses at each node we are considering here real losses at each node and in next step we are we sum it up PL sum we sum it up and then we will compare it with the next combination of uh, I mean we are going to sum the losses and for next iteration we will compare uh, which combination at which po position of DG gives us lower losses so in the end we have to store that size that location of DG and uh, this is the end of particle sum optimization which helps us to find the best solution so if you have any other question I will provide another video and uh, no problem of the table which is discussed here there are a lot of it so uh, if you want to interested in it no need to worry uh, I have to just uh, combine all the three curves and then it will be similar just like it